how does this, how, how does um, animal rights kind of tie into the rest of your, uh, the way you see the world, that sort of thing? Oh boy, <laughs> when I learned, when I really happened upon the right information and learned, which happened to be the I Am's cruelty, but that got me looking into other things and that got me looking into other things and I just realized how overwhelming animal exploitation is in our world. Like, it's just everywhere. And, um, boy, like, I've changed so much of my lifestyle habits to avoid food products, um, and personal care products. I don't go don't support any entertainment. Just, I've really become aware of all the areas where animals are used and abused, and I've really learned how to just get that right out of my life completely. And, um, and then, of course, I'm very active trying to help other people be aware of that reality because I think of how many years that I just did not know that all this was going on. So I know there's a lot of people out there who are compassionate, who would not want to be supporting these types of things, but simply don't know. You know, some, you, you know, there's always activists and people that uh, are involved in, in um, social issues are always trying to have new terms and one of the ones these days is like people talking about earthlings because we all are on this earth together and, and you know that's kind of a good way of looking at it is like you know uh, or is that we all do live on this world together and, and I mean certainly I believe that the earth would be better off if there were no humans and you know because really the animals would have a much better life the 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 plants, the whole earth would be better off. We have had a huge effect, haven't we? We have had a huge effect. And, and, but so, so many people can't even imagine, well, what, like, no humans? Is, is that actually life then? You know what I mean? Like, I guess people think it kind of like a, if a tree falls in the forest, yeah. can anybody hear? I guess that they can't imagine a world without humans. How is the world supposed to be experienced right. without human experience? Right. Yeah. Very humanocentric. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, but, so, yes, I, I feel that, but I don't, I don't think that, you know, like some really extreme animal uh, rights activists might feel that, uh, you know, certainly they, if they're given the chance, they would end the human race, right? <laughs> I don't feel that way. Um, and as I, I was saying, you know, as same thing with being a vegetarian or vegan, that lifestyle has a huge impact on the environment. So I just feel that, you know, um, being respectful, thoughtful, and compassionate, really, I mean... How can those be bad How things? How can those yeah. be bad things? Well, when we eat meat, for instance, that is very bad to the environment in terms of the fact that we can use a lot of that amount of land to grow other other food that will feed a lot more people. We've got a growing population, right? So I think that even though vegetarianism and veganism is better for our species as a whole, if you want to, you know, kind of use that kind of argument that he was using. So, so it's funny It's funny how the, the, the nicer you treat the earth, the nicer you treat animals, it actually has a kickback effect to yes, human beings. Yes, it all comes back and especially yeah. in the society we're living now where we're so increasingly globalized, right? So connected. The actions I have now will affect not just myself and people around me, but for years and years to come. And it's respecting what we have been given is very necessary and I think by treating the environment and other animals, other animals you know, other because we are too, with respect will really help us in the future and right now too. Um, well, I am working on being a vegetarian because oh, I, have, I have a mother that's a vegan, I have family members that are vegan, yeah. vegetarian, and you know, I'm recently kind of starting to educate myself really about what they do to animals, and I, you know, I don't want to support it, and I don't support it, and so I'm like, it's heading towards a, like a vegan lifestyle. It's, oh, that's, well, that's fantastic. It's an eventual thing, it takes a long time. It sounds like you've at least got some support then, it, you know, if you decide to make the move over. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. fantastic. We, um, vegetarianism is actually quite an easy thing to do. It's, it's one of those things you just, if you just do it, you actually will feel so much better after the fact that you'll be like, oh, well, that was simple, that was good, and there'll be lots of good food, so that's my theory on it. What, what kind of set you off in that direction? Oh, no, this is a long story. <laughs> no, go for it. I've got okay. lots of video. <laughs> you got lots of videos. So. Lots, lots. Um, I, I came from uh, just north of Camrose. Um, I was raised in a very 
Well, I don't say conservative family. Well, they are, but um, so I was raised. I'm supposed to be a hunter. My family's all hunters. There's lots of beef farmers, so it's yeah, it's not really expected that I'd become a vegetarian. But um, I don't know. It's just when I was I was when I grew up on the farm. I mean, I could see that animals had sentience. So you could see that see that they could suffer. I could see that they had personalities. I could see all these things. So. I you know, then I'd go out like hunting for deer or something and I'd see that and then have a gun and I'm supposed to shoot them and it's just I mean, I never did shoot deer actually, but I remember the one time, I think this was in like grade ten or something, I was out there supposed to be hunting and then I had this beautiful deer right in my sights and it was just like I mean my dad was so excited for me, he wanted me to get me, me to get this deer, but I I just, like, if I don't shoot, it lives. If I shoot, it dies. Why should I? I mean, I can eat something else. I don't need to eat this. And then, over time, it's just kind of like, okay, well, you know, I don't... That, just, that was kind of the turning point. And eventually, it was just me getting up the courage to say, you okay, know, I really don't want to eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm vegan. I, I, it's, vegan. Being a vegan is, um, can be difficult for people. Like, you're not familiar with nutrition and you don't know how to... I mean, obviously, you want to do it and be healthy. Right. Um, but I think it's important for people to know where their, where their food comes from. A lot of people just turn a blind eye and they say, well, they see the meat and the cellophane and they don't think about where it came from, that it came from an animal who had to die for that. So I think if you're going to eat meat, at least learn where it came from and know. And at that point, then you can make an, um, an educated decision and say, okay, I know what the animals go through now and I'm not going to be a part of it. But most people, unfortunately, just don't want to see that side of their food. I don't know, maybe, maybe they're also afraid that if they see this, they're going to have to open their eyes to a lot of other things that we do, like meat eating and, exactly. you know, that sort of thing. So, <laughs> maybe exactly. that's part of it. Then you have to ask yourself, well, what is what is the proper treatment of, of a cow? What is the proper treatment of a pig? Why should we give rights to elephants if not to other animals? It's exactly it. Yeah. And they have to look at their whole lifestyle. So, is there anything kind of in general you want to say about animal rights, about veganism, about anything? Anything in general. Yeah. I think we're, we're at a time where it's going to be, I think we're, we're at a good time right now because there is this global warming issue and the treatment of, of animals and, and the eating of meat. Those issues are coming up more and more. Environment and ve vegetarianism, they're becoming synonymous. So. I don't know, I just hope that continues. They become part of the consciousness. That would be fantastic. Anything you want to say to maybe people who have not made the jump to uh, looking at animal rights, maybe looking at uh, veganism or vegetarianism? How do you talk to them? <laughs> if you're compassionate to your dog or your cat, what's the difference between them and, and a cow and a pig? They're all higher mammals, you know, so if, if, if it's... If it's um, wrong to kill a cat or throw a puppy over a cliff, then why is it okay to, you know, stab, well, do what we do in the slaughterhouses to the animals, so it, you can't, I just can't see, if you feel compassion for your dog or your cat, just ask yourself, why don't you feel compassion for cows or pigs, because they're, they're higher, higher mammals too, they have their beings.